Lloyd Schofield knocked down Ricardo Lopez four times in the first round. Uh, he's done everything that I basically didn't expect this fight. He came out with a strong jab. Fast, strong, snappy jab. I'm talking about, I've seen him fight many times. And let me tell you something. For a guy who's 21 years old, I haven't seen him uh, do certain things in the ring that he uh, did tonight. And it was quick, only in a minute or two minutes. He did a lot of things, man. His power, like he showed the speed and he boxed and then he displayed the power at the end of the round when he started knocking him down. Bro, this kid's a problem, man. I don't know why everybody's sitting around and acting like his name is not someone. You, I, I know guys that just showed up that's the same age as him. But, man, he showed enough tonight, bro. Just from his uh, discipline and the way he fights. You know what I'm saying? Bro, for him to be the way he is right now, man, he's he's one of my favorites right now. Not even because he got a knockdown in the first round. That don't really impress me, bro. It's a lot of people who do that. What I, what, I, what impressed me was I've never seen him throw a jab like that. And he comes out throwing a jab? Strong jab, too, man. The guy had to bag off because the guy was being aggressive. He had to bag off uh, Schofield. That was very impressive, man. Four knockdowns in the first round. They had to stop the fight. Uh, Ricardo Lopez, he did what he could. Uh, he didn't look like he came there to uh, quit. I'm going to be real with you. He looked like he came there to fight. He said that was going to be the hardest test for uh, Floyd Schofield, and that was not. Ricardo Lopez looked like a rookie, and Floyd Schofield looked like a veteran. He made him look very bad, man. He looked good. From what I've seen just now, the speed, I already know he got power and different things like that. He basically displayed, let's just say, if Floyd Schofield had the same capability, and this is no disrespect, uh, because I, think, I feel like this guy's a great fighter. He's one of my fi uh, favorite fighters. But he looks like uh, Sean Porter with a good, strong jab. I'm talking about a strong, strong, hard, lightweight jab. You know what I'm saying? But I don't want to compare him to Sean Porter because physically he looks like Sean Porter, but just how disciplined he is. He's very, very disciplined. He doesn't do anything that put himself in harm's way. Bro, that was a very good fight, man. That was a very good fight for him. Floyd Schofield's a problem, man. I'm letting everybody know that right now. I told guys at 135, there's like 50 guys at 135 that can fight each other right now. And he's one of them. Yeah, I believe him when he's calling out names now. When he's calling out guys' names, I want to fight this guy and this guy. Yeah, I believe him now. Because he's been knocking people out. I think he's knocked people out. I think he's knocked somebody out in every fight he's been in. But the jab work, bro, the discipline. The ring generalship, bro, it just... Man, he was doing everything, bro. It's very I haven't been impressed like that in a while, man. He was very impressive. You know what I'm saying? The kid was relaxed. Uh he wasn't too uh He was relaxed tonight. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that is that what uh made the jab come out or different things like that. He was super excited. But man, he showed up on the co main event, bro. He showed up. For him to uh get on the uh the co-main event on the fight card to move up and do the do what he did on the card, that was very impressive. That was very impressive. A lot of guys aren't doing that. Man, I haven't seen a lot of people do that, man. That was uh that was some some kind of stuff I seen Tank do but back in the day. That's some kind of stuff I would have seen Tank doing. I don't even know if Tank was doing stuff like that, to be real. Well, I was seeing Tank do that. Let me just take that back. Yeah, Tank was doing stuff like that. Man, that was impressive, man. Floyd Schofield, bro, I'm just let y'all know right now. He's, hey, Muratiah, that's a young guy right there. Keyshawn ain't proved nothing either. I know you calling out Keyshawn, but, hey. Floyd Schofield ain't proved nothing either. Miratire, 
Hey. Floyd Schofield. Floyd Schofield. He definitely going to be at 135 and 140. He going to be at 140 soon, but... Man, y'all better start doing something. Down there at 135, it's getting real crowded right now. Ricardo Lopez, he came to fight. He didn't come there to just get a check and get knocked out. Hey, you guys better figure it out. Hey, Floyd Schofield a problem, man. People going to definitely have to figure out what they're going to do with Floyd Schofield. He's definitely a problem. The stuff I seen him doing tonight, man. I can't, I, I can't even explain because I didn't expect that. I, I expected him to, uh, to kind of come out and uh, break the guy down, but I didn't expect him to uh, jab like that. And I, and I don't know if I said in my preview, I don't know what I really said. I might have said he needed a jab, but he has a jab. He just got to get comfortable enough to use it. He definitely just has to get comfortable enough to use it. He's fighting hard, man. I was very impressed with that. Very impressed. I'm very impressed by what i seen. He was fighting hard, man. Floyd Schofield, he's definitely a problem in boxing right now. If y'all don't know, y'all gonna know soon. 135 division. All the top guys. I know y'all know Navarrete moving up. I know this kid's a little younger and stuff, but hey. Two or three years, y'all better have some plans ready. But that's all I got though. Very impressed by Floyd Schofield. Very impressed. Very impressed. I would not consider him a prospect no more. That's all I got though. Like and subscribe.